Hey, what's up everybody? It's Neil here with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get the new slide over and split view features on older iPad models. So if you have an iPad 2, a third generation, fourth generation, or OG iPad, then you don't get all the new multitasking features that come with iOS 9. Those being the slide over feature that you saw. Here's slide over you don't get the split screen function and you don't get picture in picture which is something that you can utilize when you're facetiming now although newer models do get these multitasking features only the ipad air 2 mini 4 and soon to be released ipad pro have that split view feature if you want to get these features on an older ipad then you'll have to first jailbreak your iPad, which is simple and you can get done within five minutes if you follow our guide over at GadgetHacks.com. So I suggest doing that first. After that, you're going to enter Cydia, which comes installed when you jailbreak, and you're going to search for this free tweak called Medusa for iPad. And you're just going to go ahead and install this tweak. Once you install the tweak, your device will restart and there are no preferences to set up because the features will now be enabled on your iPad as long as it's running iOS 9. Now I'm gonna do it in landscape mode just so you can see how it works or just to show it off. Now I'm gonna go inside one application and from here I'm gonna use the slide over feature by just pulling this grabber on the right side of my display and initially when I open this up it'll let me select an app if you wanna choose a different app and you're already using it and just pull down from up here and you'll see a list of applications you can choose from. So let's choose this one. Now if I want to enter split screen and be able to use two apps simultaneously, because right now I can only use one, I'm just going to pull it out even more. Now this is iPad Mini 2 and it does have the slide over function, but I did not have this split screen function. As you can see, it's working quite well and I can multitask and do different things um, pretty easily, as you can see. I can go back to this one and search for an app if I want or do any a number of things because now I have this enabled on this older iPad. But definitely check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com, especially if you want to find out how easy it is to jailbreak your iPad. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful GadgetHack videos. Thanks, guys.